All right, guys, I had to make this video because this is a pretty big update, especially for those of you who've been following this topic with me. So, if you've been around for a while, you might remember when I talked about how the US found Huawei using the Huawei SN910 processor. Well, this chipset was made by TSMC, but here is the twist. Huawei can't directly buy anything from TSMC because of the US ban. So, what actually happened? Well, the US started a proper investigation and found that these chipsets were originally manufactured by TSMC for a Chinese client SoftGo, but somehow they ended up in Huawei's tech. And now, the US has taken action. They've officially added SoftGo to their entity list as well, which means it will no longer be able to purchase any advanced chipsets, effectively signaling the end of its operations in the United States. So, the real question here is, why did the US take such a huge step? Especially when SoftGo has said that they have no direct connections with Huawei. In fact, SoftGo is even ready for an official audit to prove it wrong. But let's not focus on whether Huawei was actually involved or not, because that's a separate debate. The key issue is, why did the US directly blacklisted SoftGo? Well, the answer is simple to send a message and instill fear among all the Chinese companies. Yes, being blacklisted in the US market, which is one of the biggest market in the world, is a huge deal for any company out there and by blacklisting SoftGo, the US has sent a clear signal to every Chinese firm, like if they step out of line, this could happen to them too. Even if Huawei might have used this approach in the past, it's now impossible for them to try anything similar again. The US has effectively blocked every possible route for Huawei. So what do you think about it guys? Well, this was an important update so I thought I should update you regarding this as no one is covering these types of news. Therefore, please subscribe to the channel if you want more quality content. And make sure to let me know your thoughts on it in the comments section below. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.